The final Splatfest announcement has gone live in Splatoon 2, meaning that we can pick what team we want to battle for in the final Splatfest when it does kick off on Thursday the 18th of July. It of course will be going on for three days and ending on Sunday the 21st of July. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what team you will be battling for Will you be on Team Chaos or will you be on Team Order? So yeah, the dialogue will be in the background of the video. For me, in my opinion, this is the best dialogue we have had so far in Splatoon 2. I love all of the lore references they did pack into this dialogue. It is probably the longest dialogue we have had so far for a Splatfest announcement and it is probably the longest dialogue in the game like in terms of Splatfest results stage announcements so yeah Nintendo have definitely gone all out with this Splatfest dialogue I'm just going to pick out some of my favourite moments from basically the dialogue so yeah I love how Off The Hawk's origins were referenced in the dialogue. I love how Pearl recognised that Marina is more popular than her in the community. I love that the devs did put something like that in the dialogue. They did break the fourth wall somewhat with that line of text but I definitely do appreciate that sort of stuff and yeah for me this dialogue it does confirm that the final Splatfest it will determine what will happen within Splatoon 3 story. Pearl did invoke Article 4 of the Splatfest law, meaning that the losing side has to accept what world the winning side did prefer. So yeah, I think that is a hint. I think we already knew anyway, but yeah, I think this does confirm that Splatoon 3 story will be determined by who does win the final Splatfest. And it sounds like that what world we will live in, it will be a world created by either Pearl, if Chaos did win, and if Team Order did win, we would play in Marina's perfect world in Splatoon 3. That's what it sounds like to me. We may have even got some Splatoon 3 story hints in there with Marina saying that the world might fall apart if Chaos did win. It sounds like that off the hook, would break up if Chaos did win as well. She did say that she would never get to see Agent A or Captain Cuttlefish as well. It does sound like that maybe Marina might leave Incopolis. That is what she did mention within the dialogue. So it sounds like if Ordor did win, then basically it would be a world where everybody could all feel safe and secure so basically inklings and octolings would still live together i'm just wondering whether if chaos did win maybe inklings and octolings would no longer feel safe to live alongside each other or comfortable to live alongside each other that is the sort of impression i did get from that dialogue so yeah i really did enjoy that dialogue let me know your thoughts about it in the comments section below. Do you think Splatoon 3 story hints might have been dropped in that dialogue? I definitely do think that is the case. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And yeah, we'll see you in another video soon, hopefully. Apologies if the audio is a little bit rubbish. I have been having problems with my microphone. So yeah, apologies if that is the case. But yeah, we'll see you in another video soon hopefully.